I don't know, I guess they say it's a line better late than never, I guess. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back for I'm the one, the only I am Hobo Tom. And this video is going to be up late. Oh, I actually did a lot yesterday. Today, I did a lot. And tomorrow I have to wake up and go to the DMV. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, crap, I have to shave tonight, too. I just realized that. Do I have to? Yeah, I probably should. I don't know. If I wear my big mask, should be good. Yeah, maybe I'll cheat a little. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling after this show. But yeah, enough about that. I'm here to talk about NXT, but first, as always, I have some thank yous to give out. Thank you, Black Grant Morrison. Yep. It's probably something about women and Melina yeah that's right one that the one that does a split being copied by the other one you sir you always win by you know what I'm gonna mess this up a little bit I'm gonna say you're that luchador on a forklift And see Starfish 4? Yeah, we'll probably talk about the same thing. You just told Becky, you just told Natalia to take it all off. That's good. So now let's get to some NXT. You start off Steiner talks. Rex Steiner, I refuse to call him Braun Breaker. He's always Rex Steiner to me. He talks. Dolph Ziggler comes out. Remember, Dolph is going to be in the main event later tonight. So yeah, it is what it was. Our first match, Grayson Waller versus L.A. Knight. Oh, Eli Drake is so good on the mic. The white version of The Rock. Um, L.A. Knight knows how to work a wrestling ring. He has that ring generalship that I think a lot of wrestlers kind of has lost. Where it's, I mean, he doesn't do anything special, but he does the same thing to each side so that everyone gets to see what he's doing. That's kind of a lost art. A uh, Waller, he gets crushed the ropes and then has to go. To ride the pony there, baby. Um, LA Knight, for the most part, takes it to Waller outside the ring. LA Knight gets distracted by the bodyguard. This is when Waller makes his comeback. Good suplex by Waller. Waller got caught into a back suplex. LA Knight. Oh, he did something really good to... Good, clean, something. I hate it. Good, clean, something. I don't know. I forgot what that was. Oh no, good chain wrestling. Oops. Sometimes I can't read my own handwriting. That's terrible. Waller. Good. I'm eating. 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 I'm
while well, playing games and applying to jobs, many jobs, now at least. Um, yeah, Waller's bodyguard causes a distraction. It was a roll up with the tights. Grice and Walla. The Aussie wins. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. But LA Knight, he gets after him. Eli Drake's just so good. Um, good, solid match. I'm not a big fan of way too many distractions. Having a bodyguard there is okay. But you know what? Solid cheeseburger match. Then we have Dakota Kai just kind of lurking backstage. That's always weird. And then Wendy's just like sleeping there. Oh, I know what the comments were. <laughs> it was about Wendy. I think my comment was, is Wendy homeless? Why does she have to sleep in the performance center? And why is she in like a fuzzy onesies? I don't see Wendy in a less than see-through pink negligee with Barely there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too involved in certain fantasies, I think. Yeah, Wendy just, like, sleeps there. So, again, she doesn't have a, her own place. You know, I think my comment was, is, was Wendy, is Wendy homeless? She, she's one of the best homeless people we've ever seen. Because most homeless people don't have a fuzzy teddy bear and they don't have fuzzy pajamas either. So, I have no idea. Then there was Raquel Gonzalez and Cor Jade. Going at the UNF Jungle Gym, which is actually kind of cool looking. One day, I always wanted to do that. They have the zip line. The cargo nets are fairly easy. The monkey bridge is okay. I just don't want to do the zip line. Zip line over the, over the, uh, from the island to the lake. Over the lake is pretty cool looking. Yeah, for the most part, it's just an adult jungle gym. Bunch of big colleges. They might, maybe they might have done, I don't know if it was UNF. Might have been UC, maybe UC. I don't know if UCF has that though. UCF is fairly urban. I don't know if they're big enough. Yeah, whatever. Then our next match we had Kai Leirai and Io Shirai taking on Lash Legend and someone Miller, Jobber, Jobber McJobber, Jobber Miss Jobber. I'm sorry. Um, Lash Legend comes out strong does a hair grab very heelish I like that because normally in those promos and talk shows she's kind of very faceish, very baby face I like the fact when she wrestles she's becoming more of a heel she's expanding her performance stuff uh, Io Shirai hits a 619 then back off the rope she missed the drop kick yeah uh, uh, she, there was some botch. She's supposed to do something just slipped on the rope. Again, Io Shirai, be careful. This is Florida. You have to be very careful of condensation on these ring ropes. Especially with, like, oils and stuff and body lotion. Yeah, those ropes get horrible. Horribly slick. It's terrible. Many a day in Daytona Beach, when NXT used to do its touring here, do the Florida house show circuit, many a wrestler has cursed the ring ropes and the condensation in that, in that gym that I would walk to to go see the matches. Yeah. That doesn't tell you where I live anyway, but that's okay. It's Daytona Beach, folks. <laughs> yeah, like my one coworker said, he really can't get lost in Daytona Beach. That's a bad sign. She does hit a missile dropkick. That's really good. Uh, Omari did a flapjack. Uh, Io and Kaylee Ray did some double teamwork. Ray hit the KLR bomb. Io Shirai hit the moonsault. Again, good chain wrestling putting moves together. Kaylee Ray and Io Shirai move on to the d women's Death the Finish. A oh, dust, Dusty Classic. I'm sorry, not Death the Finish. Solid cheeseburger match, even with a botch. Dante Chen then has a little interview. So he's gonna take on Duke Hudson versus Don Duke Hudson versus Dante Chen. Chen jumps Duke. Uh, Chen works over the legs of Duke. Duke eventually gathers himself. 
And Duke hits a rather impressive razor's edge. Whoa. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Duke Hudson wins. Kind of buried Dante Chen there, though. Even though he's trying to get revenge. Ham sandwich of a match. Then we have uh, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes. A little promo. Peter Dune shows up. And Cameron Grimes comes from the moon. Even though he's supposed to say to the moon. He came from the moon this time. Uh, that's going to be the next match. This was weird because Trick Williams didn't do much. And Trick Williams was kind of botchy. Uh, Grimes. Big chops and big kicks. Trick. He went... He, I don't know what a, he like threw himself from an arm takedown and then he would like bend the arm the right way like he just like hold it across like his chest and I'm like yeah like that's just doing, I mean it's, it's not like a, it's not like it was wrapped around his neck it was like you could tell it's like right across his chest and just holding it I'm like well, why is he bending and like he would try to like, like bend it like like normal arm bending stuff like yeah I'm, I'm gonna bend your arm this way. I'm gonna bend your arm this way here and, and I'm like that, that does nothing that's the way the arm is supposed to be and you're supposed to try and hyper ex you can't see it but you're supposed to try to hyper extend which I'm not gonna do because that would be bad and try to hyper extend the elbow or have it in a position for a shoulder lock yeah or I mean you can use the arm like the million dollar man when you, you can choke a person out with their own arm I mean, at least I can understand a straight jacket choke, even though it's not really that great. Oh, actually, that does feel kind of funky. But yeah, I mean, if you're going to use the arm, you have to really get it there. And I mean, I can still breathe and stuff. And I'm sure they have great communication. See, because I can even look at my own. No, yeah, I'm kind of fine in this position. I mean, if you really want to apply pressure, I mean... Yeah, yeah, you can't go into business for yourself. But that looked terrible, though. Like, why is he bending his arm the way it's supposed to bend? And terrible selling. Trick needs to work a lot. Um, he did have a good pump kick, though. Again, I'll criticize where criticism is needed. I'll also give credit where credit is due. He had a great-looking pump kick. Uh, Grimes, a super kick. <laughs> he did an ugly splash. Literally runs at the head of Trick Williams. I don't know if Tr Trick Williams just doesn't know where he was supposed to be in the ring. Like Cameron Grimes said, said, I better jump off these slick ropes. Again, I want us to, for a veteran like Cameron Grimes, I'll give a little leeway. Those ropes do get weird feeling here in Florida. Especially since it's been so nice and warm recently. Condensation sucks. Um, like every morning I have to it's just a dew point. Every morning I have to turn the wiper blades on in my truck just to get all the moisture off. Cause it's, I, I can't even imagine what those ropes go through. So yeah. I might give Cameron Grimes a little bit of a thing there. But then he did a stomp. To the moon. Goes Cameron Grimes. I don't know. Trick Williams is not good in this match though. Again, if you're just going to bend, bend the guy's arm the way it should be bent. Yeah, I'm just going to hold this arm against your body. And not do anything with it. Like again, you can use it to choke. You can hyper extend the elbow. I don't even think I could do that. Again, shoulder locks. Even just a simple chicken wing. I mean, straight jacket choke. There's a lot you could do. Just not just say, "Oh, I'm gonna hold your arm against your your, your neck like this," and be like, "Yeah, yeah, feel the pain, man, feel the pain." No key lock it do other stuff at least make it look painful I mean you could just put a very basic key lock in and if the guy's selling and wants to sell like he can go oh you don't, you don't even have to torque anything you just have to put it there people know yeah you put a key lock on someone like an Americana that hurts that's gonna rip tendons apart so yeah it's kind of weird um can a suit match? Not necessarily toast. 
because it wasn't bad. I mean, that one pumpkin what was pretty cool. Cameron Grimes is a pro. He can kind of recover from anything. I, I could do that stuff. I could I could make that arm lock look better. That's a scary thing that I could make an arm lock look better. And then we have Briggs and Jensen. I didn't even know video dating was still a thing. I thought you just posted yourselves on a... I just thought you just posted pictures of yourself on a website. Wrote a little bit about yourself. Where you're from. What you do. And like chicks like either like like you or, or pass you. I pass a lot of people because, well, I'm not traveling to South Carolina. I'm not... A, I'm not good. If, if I have to look at... Listen, ladies. I hate to be rude and honest. If I have to look your city on up on a map, I'm not dating you. That's not happening. I did that twice. Yeah. Shame, yeah. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It's not happening a third time. Middle of nowhere, date city is in. Horrible. Um, then there was a little other stuff. Uh, Ciampa and Steiner were backstage. They're, those two are great together. Uh, Nikita Lyons, she's like a blonde, a blonde Latin Molina. Um, it was Nikita Lyons versus Kayla Inlay. It's a terrible last name for a woman wrestler, Inlay. For the most part, Nikita Lyons knows her arm drags. Uh, basic shoulder tackles. Kayla... And she has a pretty good knee. Um, the finish of this match like was like a Molina style. was like a gut punch. Some leg kicks. Nothing spectacular. She did the Molina style like split splash. Drop, <laughs> dropping her cooch across the throat of her, her opponent. It's the only way I can describe it. But yeah. It was an okay match. Nothing really spectacular. Ham sandwich of a match. And Perger Peralta was caught making out with Dave Hudson. Apparently the two know each other from, from the land down under. Maybe Duke has been to Perger's land down under. Oh! You never know. He knows about her South Seas. For I have this notion that the motion of her ocean meets small craft advisories. What a gang lyric! Insert, I like that. Um, yeah, so that was pretty funny. Then then Indy Hartwell catches them. And Duke Hudson's well. Indy, remember that time? Oh! He likes her Waffle House hash browns. Because he had her smothered, got her covered. Like his Waffle House hash browns. So you make pecs, you're out of bounds. Wow, busting up the lyrics tonight. Then Dexter Loomis just, just looked ejected. He should want to rip that man's head off. In Texas, that's the reason, that's a legal reason to kill someone. Said he just does that. That's depressing. Even I don't do that. At least I'm like, hey, babe, I'm going to get drunk, play some video games. I'll be good. But yeah. Um... And then it's the Creed Brothers celebration. Uh, Von Wagner kind of... Von Wagner! Breaks that up a little bit. And then we have Ivy Niles and Paxley someone versus Casey and Caden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what, Jensen and Briggs? I hate to tell you. You don't want to date two lesbians. They go down on each other. I saw the photo evidence. Yeah, you need to date two different ladies, okay? Yeah, just us ricochet. Oh, and TJ Perkins. That's an old video. Cause I think Casey Catanzaro. I think she's Filipino. TJ Perkins is Filipino. And so is um. Oh, where's she been? Shotzi Blackheart is also Filipino. I haven't seen her in a while either. Oh, well. Yeah, but, um, 
IV, big kicks. Uh, Paxley stretches Caden. A Casey gets a hot tag in. And then there's a lot, lot of double teamwork with Casey and Caden. They, they obviously know what they're doing. They're well gelled together. And then I think the heels hit a near magic killer. Then Casey and Caden hit a neck breaker 450 combo. Yeah, Casey and Caden advance in the Dusty Finish Classic. A dusty Classic. Why do I, why do I keep on wanting to say Dusty Finish? Dusty Rose, it's a Dusty Finish, baby. But they won. And Ivy just decides to beat up her partner because she lost it. And then there's more L.A. Knight. Oh, L.A. Knight's so good. Just cut him loose. Let's have him do whatever. Give him carte blanche to do everything. Um, probably he's going to be the last man standing match for whatever NXT does. I have to figure out the schedule. I don't even, there's some pay-per-view coming up. I don't know, NXT is giving all these shows like their own names. I have no clue what they're talking about. Then we had Tommaso Ciampa versus Dolph Ziggler. This was actually really good. Ciampa <laughs> just did a back slap mocking me to Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, again, not necessarily my favorite wrestler, but when he goes into college wrestling mode, oh, there might be like five or six better than him. But uh, who would be better than Dolph Ziggler collegiate wrestling? Brock, Shelton Benjamin, Chad Gable. And if you really want to, Rex Steiner. I mean, I, in the WWE, yeah. Dolph's up there when it comes to collegiate style wrestling. So again, I'll always go bonkers for that. I thought this was going to be a flaming on match, which is rare. Um, and then he, Dolph gave Tommaso the Shibata-esque headbutt. You know what? Tommaso Ciampa, when he went to pin him, put, put Dolph in an Americana. I have a feeling these two might not really like each other and just say, hey, let's just go at it for a while and get it out of our system. It wouldn't be the first time it's happened. It wasn't a straight shoot. It looks snug, and that headbutt looks, again, Shibata-esque. Then Dolph, the eye rake on the ropes, classic heel. Uh, Ciampa, the big clothesline, they do some yay boos. Ciampa, stomp, stomps on Dolph, which is always good to say. Uh, Dolph hits the Famouser, calling for the sweet chin music. That's not going to happen. Ciampa had like an end of heartbreak. Still Roddy's move, man. The Messiah of the backbreaker. Dolph, again, got the sleeper. He goes into his whole... Dolph actually really has a big bag of tricks, too. I mean, his wrestling repertoire has a little bit of everything. I mean, he did the sleeper. He made that look great. Jumping an air raid crash from the apron to the, to the ring. And um, then the cameraman. I'm like, Cody? It's Cody, Cody Rose troll us all. You didn't show up on WWE. He's going to show up on NXT. No. Uh, the, with the assistance from the cameraman and grabbing at the tights, Dolph Ziggler defeats Tommaso Ciampa. And we find out that that cameraman was glorious. I will defend. I will defend until I'm victorious. I will defend up to the end. Robert Roode. Oh, he looks so well in disguise. Robert Root's such an average person, though. It's like, we're all like, who's that guy? He doesn't look like anything special. I figured it was Cody, but no. He was glorious. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, Robert Root's back in NXT. Again, great to see that. Uh, Rex Steiner comes out, makes a save. That was the end of a really fun sh NXT show. So, yeah. Um, tomorrow, I still have my notes right here. See, it says AEW, AEW. Try to get to that tomorrow, depending on what mood I'm in after coming back from the DMV and work. Who knows? If I get suspended or fired, I might be in a happier mood. 
But yeah, that's it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you want to be like uh, Surf, uh, see Starfish 4 or whoever the other guy was.